Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to add and adjust, edit the content and edit the design of a menu in the Wix editor. So here you can see I already have a menu added. When I preview, let's see what it looks like. We've got services, about, testimonials. When I click on those things, it scrolls down to those items on the page. So let's look into how to add this. We're going to just work from scratch and work through all the little details so you can know exactly how to do this in whatever scenario that you have going on in the Wix editor. So I'm going to delete this. Go to Add Elements, Menu and Anchor. Scroll up to the top. You have a bunch of themed menus here. Horizontal menus, vertical menus. Right now we're just going to go with one of the horizontal menus. So click it on there. Okay, so this just popped up because I have a light box and I was in preview mode. So click exit. Here is my horizontal menu. I'm going to attach it to this column. And here is my menu. So this menu is going to automatically connect to whatever sort of layout you have here on your site menu and pages. So if you add a page here, let's say we have a page here. I show it it's hidden right now but if it showed then it's going to show up in this menu if I click here and I click hide it's not going to show up so this menu is going to always be connected to this site menu layout now there is an instance where you can disconnect it and set it as an advanced menu and we'll get there but first of all I'm going to share with you how to design and adjust the content of this menu here. So here if we click manage menu again it's just going to pop up what I was just telling you about. If you click navigate it's going to pop up here with just these the same thing. So I don't even know why they have two there to be completely honest with you but there are two there. So if we click settings we can set it as advanced. If we set it as advanced it's going to disconnect it from the site menu and you can adjust it on its own. We'll get there in just a moment. If you click layout, you're going to have several different options here of the layout. So right here we have wrap. So if you get so many items here that it doesn't fit, you're either going to have to wrap it so they start dividing up in columns or you're going to have to scroll. So if we click wrap, it's going to start stacking on top of each other. Go back to layout, click scroll. it's going to have a scroll button that's interactive in a way where if you click preview you can scroll through the menu items now as my own personal rule I try to not use either of those I want everything to fit here on this menu if they don't fit on the menu then I I think that that menu is way too full and that you're gonna have to do something else or start adding um, drop downs or subcategories to that menu. So here again in layout, you can adjust the spacing between the items. Click items fill the whole menu or shrink it. There you go. Text alignment to the left, center right. This is pretty self explanatory at this point. Again, you can adjust the padding of these items as well. Now when it comes to the drop down, we don't have any drop down menus right now. So let's go ahead and create one and then we can design it. So if we click manage menu and let's say that we want the privacy policy to be under the about section. First of all, I need to make sure this privacy policy is shown in the menu. Then I'm going to pull it up here under about. Okay. So it's not quite right yet. It's not like dropping under as a sub menu. So click these three buttons. And then down here, where was it? Subpage, click subpage. It's going to be then dropped down here. Okay, so now you can click preview, hover over about, and your privacy policy is there underneath. So I don't really love this layout, how it pops out this whole bar here. So let's look at adjusting that. Go back to editor. And then from here, click on your menu, go to layout, drop down and here it's currently opening up into columns click fly out if 
then click preview. Underneath it will now show privacy policy and all the other ones will be listed below it if you add anything underneath here. So let's go back to editor. So we've adjusted the layout. Let's look at the design. So here we have this menu that we've already selected. There's several others that you can select, but right now we're just going to customize the design we already have. So here, this dropdown is going to show you what you are currently editing as far as design. So right now, we're going to design the menu container. If you want it to have a background, you can adjust that. If you want it to have a border, you can adjust that. Corners, rounded, shadows, or add some padding, you can do that. I like it to be as simple as possible. When adjusting the scroll button, which isn't showing up right now, you can change the background to whatever you want it to be, the border, and the icon you can adjust here. Menu items. Here's where it gets a little bit more complex. So here in the menu, we're going to be editing the menu items in their regular state. So that's when they're just sitting there, you're looking at them, you have not hovered or clicked on them. So here you could add a little background to it if you wanted to. It would look more like a button. You can adjust the text here. And then just like everything else, borders, corners, shadows. Now here, when you hover on it, do you want the like color changed? So if you do, click text color, click to copper, green, whatever you want. I'm going to click to green and then go to current page. When you've clicked on a page, what color do you want it to be? So I'm going to choose this copper color. So let's preview that and see what this looks like. So I'm hovering over it, it's turning green, except for that you know, the adjustment isn't very different, and, but you can tell a little bit if I click. Okay, so now let's go to blog. Now that we're on blog, you can see that the blog is highlighted in copper, showing that that is the page that we are currently on. So we have done all of the design features available in this menu setting. Okay, let's talk about a few other things when it comes to menus. So let's say that we wanted to break away from the current menu layout and our site pages layout. Why would you want to do that? Well, in this case, down here, I wanted to have this menu listed again, but I also wanted to highlight the privacy policy. And I don't want the privacy policy in the main menu. So down here, I went ahead, I'm gonna delete this and show you how I did it from scratch. I'm going to add menu, drag and drop, Okay, so now this menu is always going to reflect this menu, which reflects these site pages and how they are laid out. But let's go to settings here. If you click set as advanced, click set as advanced, it's going to separate itself and give you an, an option here in a pop-out window to adjust this menu to be whatever you want it to be. So I don't want this privacy policy under about, I want it on its own. So I'm going to drag it out here. I do want the blog in here as well. So everything's here. If I want to take off something, I can. Or I can add it back in. Okay, so now this one does not look like this one. It's separate from itself. If you add a menu item here, you can add site pages, links, sections, anchors, drop down title, or mega menu. The mega menu is just adding like a current like a drop down so you could say um, you could make an about one and then you can add different things underneath it so it's like creating different folders in your menu okay that's not what I want to do but I just did that for presentation purposes so let's talk about as well the different kinds of menus in Wix they're not featured on this site necessarily but I'm going to walk through them so you know what they look like so here, if we go back to add, menu and anchor, we have theme menus, horizontal menus, which are, you know, the most, most normal or common for your websites, especially on desktop. Then we have vertical menus. I've seen these often, um, but they're not necessarily common. 
and we have hamburger menus. If you click one of these and drag these up here, and we would maybe move this over here. Okay, so how this works is we'll pre preview. This works kind of like a mobile menu. Pops up and you can adjust um, all of this behind the scenes, but that's what a hamburger menu looks like. We're gonna remove that. So those are cool, but I also like to have just a horizontal menu here at the top because it shows like the next steps for your visitors. Now, the pop-out menus, the hamburger menus could be cool, especially like, hmm, I'm trying to think like somewhere on like your services, if you want to have a, like a button that expands more and shows more of your services. So maybe other places throughout your website, maybe not on the top of the header here. Okay, going back to menu and anchor. Let's talk about these in-page menus. So if I drag and drop this, actually, I want to go back to my home page first. If I drag and drop one of these anchor menus here, and then I click preview, you can see that I can kind of click through all of these different sections take me to who we are this is going to take me to this section okay so that if I go back to editor and I click here and I right click on it or control click and I click pen to screen I can adjust where I want this to be and now it's going to basically float here on the screen as I work through the website so let's look at this preview this is my hero section then down here is my who we are and then this you want people to see it but the next one will say services about us testimonials then down here contact and footer so that can be kind of cool if that's something that you want to add to your site I often think that it can be a little cluttery and so it has to be the right site but let me show you how you would edit that so again, you can click manage menu and here you can adjust this menu, what you want to show. I don't want to show hero section because that's just like the top section. That's just what I've named it. And I don't want to show the footer either. I just want this to be a little bit more simple. And then again, you can take away things. You can rename them just in this menu. You don't have to rename the sections themselves. You can just rename it in the menu. Let's see what else can we do here. Of course, you can design it. You can change the layout. You can add animation effects just like anything else. Okay, so I'm going to delete that because that's not something that we're definitely going to do right now. Um, if you need a little refresher on sections, I have an entire video about them. Basically, you build your site with sections. You lay your strips on top of sections. But sections, click the T right here. You can adjust the URL, you can adjust the section name, and then you can link to that section anywhere on your website. Something that's like sections are called anchors. So right here we have, it's called in-page navigation. So here we have an anchor. If there's something you want to link to, but you don't really want to go to the top of the section, you would use anchors. Anchors act the same as sections. So I'm going to go ahead and click an anchor and Put it right here i don't know why i'd want to do that i wonder if i can even put it on top of that repeater box yes i can okay so i'm going to put it right here in the middle of the page middle of the section you can change the name to anchor whatever you can change the url so that you can automatically link to this but for now we'll just have this random anchor here so now with this random anchor we can add it anywhere so if we add it here on manage menu we can add a menu item anchor okay now it's going to help you select your anchor here the anchor is on what page this page do I want to link to a section no I want to link to an anchor done okay anchor one so there I went let's go ahead and click preview it anchors right to where we put that anchor that anchors right on top of here so that's kind of cool. I definitely used anchors a lot before Wix had sections, but now that there's sections in Wix, I really don't use anchors all that often. But just in case, 
that is something that you can use. And then when you want to go and remove that anchor, delete. Okay. So I think we talked about most everything about the Wix menus. Oh yes, we did have another thing to look at in here. Oh no, we did. We did the end page menu. We did all of that. So menu and anchors, that is what you need to know. Again, I didn't dive into every single like little design feature because it's pretty much the same as anything else on Wix. That little design panel panel pops out and you're able to customize the design as needed. So yes, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you want to buy this template, I've created this template that is very easy to um, manipulate to fit your very own website. So if you are interested in looking at that, it's the Wix collective.com slash templates. Okay. I'll see you in the next video.